Many of you guys asked me to test a pair. So there we go. Let's see what this pair will do to my blood sugar. So a pair like this is roughly 100 grams. That's about 57 calories, 15 grams of carbs, of which there is 10 grams of sugar, three grams of fiber, and it's really rich in vitamin C, K, and potassium. Now this is gonna be the first thing I eat today and I'm really curious to see if it's going to spike my blood sugar or not too much. Pear is supposed to be pretty healthy for blood sugar control because they have a glycemic index of only 30, which is pretty low. So this is gonna be the first thing I eat today and I'm really curious to see what it will do to my blood sugar. Let's go. All right, it's now been exactly two hours since I ate my pear. Let's now look at the glucose monitor right here to see the impact it had on my blood sugar. Oh, and by the way, a bunch of people asked about the app I use to scan my meals. It's called Sugar AI. So you just take a photo of your food and it breaks down the nutrition, the calories, sugar, macros, everything. So it's not perfect every time, but I really like to keep a record of everything I eat. So for me, it's super useful. Now for pear, we can see that it didn't have much of an impact at all on my blood sugar. Of course, individual results will vary. Some people have better, like stronger impact, especially if the pear is really ripe. These are not really ripe at all, you can see, but uh, it still is a low glycemic index fruit. So generally we can expect to not have that much of a glucose spike from pear.